Hello, this is a short video on relatively new Juno's BGP uh, knob called Delay Route Advertisements that serves to help with convergence of BGP, actually convergence of traffic uh, going through a certain router when backup path is available. So let's see actually what this command does. So it says this is a per family knob to delay route advertisements to appear until the routes have made it to the PFE. Basically for this test we are going to use a primary router, backup router, a multi-home router that is connecting to both of these routers, then we have some kind of core, so this is some kind of service provider environment, and this multi-home router on this end needs to reach some kind of service, internet, or whatever. So BGP is configured uh, between these routers, and primary router aggregates, for example, routes and sends just the aggreg aggregate route to multi-home router. Also, that is what backup router does as well. So we have primary and backup routes, which are aggregates. And also we should assume that primary router and backup router, these are some heavy lifter routers that uh, basically has large number of more specific routes. So many tables, many services, large number of routes. So during the normal operation, everything is working fine and traffic is following its primary route. But what happens now when primary route router goes down? The backup kicks in and the traffic moves onto the backup path. So far, so good. At some point, at some point the primary router will come back and BGP sessions will start to get established. Now, because we have so many of routes, more specific, coming from the core, it will take some time for primary router PFEs to get programmed. But what may happen is that primary route may advertise its aggregate, less specific route, as soon as the BGP session is established. So once that happens, the traffic may reach primary router because now it will get uh, directed to primary router but primary router still hasn't installed all the more specific prefixes coming from the core and it doesn't know actually where to forward the traffic so in this period where primary router is coming online and BGP sessions get established it would be desirable to wait a certain amount of time just to give more time to primary router to get all the routes installed in the PFE. And this is exactly what this command is trying now to achieve. So basically, the command is configurable per family and it has a a number of timers. So this particular configuration on, on in my lab has these values just for these demonstration purposes, but that these all the, these values can be tuned. And we see that it has minimum delay, maximum delay. These are optional commands. There are default values coming with this command. So pretty much it's it's clear what these values are. So for example, this 600 seconds means 600 after RPD started then 60 seconds after inbound convergence, which means some kind of BGP event that uh, signifies the end of route exchange. And also we have maximum delay timers, which are more to uh, prevent this router being stuck in certain state, not to advertise it routes at all. So basically, what this command does, it helps or alleviates moving, gracefully moving traffic from the backup router onto primary router. 
So this will now happen sometime after BGP sessions get established on the primary router. So, so the idea is not to get all the routes advertised immediately after BGP comes up, but to wait to give some time to this router to program its PFE and then to re-advertise, to, to start advertising routes and attracting traffic because it's primary to it. So let's see how we can demonstrate this in, 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 in the lab setup. So I have a route, which is an aggregate route, and I'm advertising this route to this multi-home router, which is here. And this router is has this route installed. It has received this route. And also I have under protocol BGP show configuration protocol BGP group test family. I have configured delay route advertisements with those values. So let's see now what happens if I restart RPD on the primary router. Okay, let's check the BGP sessions now. BGP session is active. This We would expect this route to have disappeared. Yes, there is no that route anymore. It will take some time for this session to come up. The aggregate route is there. And this session is finally established. But if I want to see whether the route has been received on this end, 00, zero route, I see there is still no route. And if I check the route on primary router, I see the router is active, but there are absolutely no, no attributes here. Attribute list is empty. And if you remember previously what it looked like, we had actually uh, attributes ready. So basically what happens with this route is that it still doesn't get advertised. So if you check one more time the BGP session, just quickly to show something. Um, we see that for this particular neighbor, for this particular family, I need Unicast, we see that delay add fib sync is enabled. So we should see these two new, these two new values under the neighbor 1002. And let's check on delay on, on, on the age of this route. So this route is up for 2 minutes and 50. But in our configuration, if we go back, we'll see that minimum delay is 600 seconds after RPD started. So basically, we need to wait for uh, 7 more minutes to see this route appear on the other end. So I'm going to stop video now and will continue just before this 10 minutes timer expires. Okay, after some 10 minutes, uh, 
let's see now the, the age of the route the route is nine minutes old it's still not present on the multi-home router so we need to wait until uh, this timer timer of 600 seconds expires but there is one more thing that is interesting to see here before that happens if we look extensive it says that the route is queued so basically it will be queued for all the values of all those timers in our ca case 10 minutes after RPD restarts and then it will be re-advertised so let's check the route age now it's 10 seconds and the route is after 10 minutes the route is present on the multi-home router so basically one more time there is a new command delay route advertisements which is per family knob here we see the per family knob there are different timers to be configured or things can be left on default so these are all optional minimum delay maximum delay all optional components of this command so this command helps alleviates certain issues that can come from losing the primary router so basically let's see these triggers one more time any of triggers here that affect primary router this command will kick in and help alleviate possible black holing of traffic once the primary router is back meaning once the primary router is back advertising it aggregate route but still large number of routes coming from the core are not programmed in the packet forwarding engines of the primary router Thank you for watching.